Good afternoon, Pisces. How are you doing? Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who donate and get private readings. And thank you for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my oils. Okay, my oils come in the oil form and the dry form. My sage come with two Palo Santo. My walnut bath, my salt baths. I got the best salt you can think of. This is my salts. Um, this you can use to cleanse your house, the energy around you. I got all kinds of stones. I got um, all kinds of um, crystals, all right? Energy stones, jewelry, all right? Yes, all kinds of candles. This is the Prosperity Abundance. This is the Spellbreaker Candle. Y'all know I am the best at breaking spells. This is the Love Yourself Candle. Comes in pink, not red. Okay. So, I want to say thank you for all the people that support me. Um, that's Follow me, the new ones and the old ones. Okay, the G ones and the new E's. Welcome to my family, Pisces Studio. Here we go. Now, I did an earlier reading today. Um, usually when I do readings, I can't remember because I'm all in my spirit. I'm in the zone and I listen, but I don't remember everything that, that I put into my readings. I go with the flow. Um... And the universe, I flow with the universe, honey, when I do my reading. Okay, I'm in my energy. All right. So here we go. Let's find out what this reading is going to be about. These cards are so damn big. They take forever for me to um, shuffle. Oh, thank you for the young lady, um, Natasha, Natasha, thank you for, um, telling me about the cards, the order of the cards, that, um, I did say my cards are getting old, and, um, I need to, um, I said I need to, um, get some, um, get some new cards, because they're getting very old, and once they get old, I don't know what you're supposed to do with, with them cards, but they are so very, very, uh, like, they're not good to shuffle anymore. So, it's like I got to shuffle them for a couple times. All right? All right, so here we go. Spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. Spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. Spirits, tell me what Pisces need to know. So all the cards fell out at one time. The first card you got is red and forgive. So you you in a tub with all these. Um, what are these? Oh, I think they. What are these apples? I don't know. Let me see what they are. Let me take a good look. It looks like they're tomato vines. I guess they're tomatoes or something. All right. Someone's taking a bath with tomatoes. This look like a tree, a tomato plant. Um. But you like feeling sad. It, you don't look like you happy. It says red, red, red is love, flower, roses, you know, love. Red stands for a lot of stuff. Pain. Forgive, it says. Forgive. Forgive yourself and the situation. Somebody sitting alone. Probably take it, meditating in a salt bath or something like that. Or herbs. It says swim. Oh, it says soar. Make a change. So it's time for you to make a change. Maybe somebody's cutting their hair. Losing weight. Changing their diet. Um, somebody feels like they need to 
some type of improvement of self, all right? Changing your appearance, maybe getting plastic surgery done. Uh, I don't know. It's something here that don't, uh, that you're looking at yourself and like you feel like maybe you need to improve in something. And that is in your appearance. And I, I really think that you're beautiful just the way you are. It says, shark, swim away from this situation. So maybe somebody wants you to change, all right? Or maybe you making a, or maybe you're making a sacrifice. Sometimes people make sacrifice or they do some type of ritual, okay, to um, make a promise to the universe or something like that, okay? But it says swim away from this situation. You don't look like you're happy there. This person look like they mean, all right? This person look like they are. Uh, Scaring you, all right? Why would you want to be in a situation that is not good for you, all right? You're not, you are afraid of someone. Is someone threatening you? Is someone telling you, you they um bringing down your self-esteem, saying that you don't look good. Maybe they say you're fat. Um, maybe they um just making you feel like, you know, they trying to tear you down. So you want to improve yourself for a person. You need to improve yourself for yourself. Um, you know, when people go under the knife, it's, it's you're taking a risk, number one. And it's like you, what are you, um, why you want to change your appearance? All right. Um, but it says swim away from a situation. Is this person always making fun of you? I mean, you know, calling you names or telling you're too fat, you, your nose is too big, you're too skinny, you need a big ass, you need big titties. What is it? Something here that someone is making fun of you. And then it causes you to really feel ashamed of who you are. What is it? Is it someone trying to, trying to change you? But it says swim away from a situation that, or it, are you changing the way you look? Are you changing your image? So, I don't know. I feel like you need, it's something here that you're not comfortable with. You're not comfortable in your own body. I don't know. Someone needs to, it's like you... You need to get away from a situation that is not serving you. Three of cups can it can mean a celebration of family or kins that are not related to you that you call family. It can always it can also mean a party of three. All right, somebody jealous of you, someone that you think that wants the best for you but they really don't. They're jealous and envy of you. Okay? Somebody's looking at you, you know, raise your cup, but, you know, let's see how or why, what is, you know. Maybe you up here, maybe someone you feel like is something, is, is, is someone making you feel like, you know there is something else in this situation that's keeping you up at night that you have to end. Something, it, maybe it's coming to an ending of a third party. Or maybe someone is celebrating um, the ending of something. Now, if if, if it's like somebody here, the, the bird been stabbing their chest. If you look at the back of the um, bed. You have a bird stab right in the chest. Um, something here is keeping you up at night. Um, maybe you know something and it's in your gut that's telling you that it's the truth. All right? Um, someone is... Someone here is leaving a situation. You got the nine of swords and you got a death. An ending. Something needs to be done. 
Some you need to close something for something new to open up. You need to get away from something that is stressing you out. Someone that um is it's like you can't sleep, you can't think, you can't eat. It's like you always thinking about I, I think about a third party or someone with someone else celebrating an event with someone else. Um a celebration from or maybe they're celebrating with their family something that is keeping you up. Maybe this person um, has a family outside of you that they are celebrating an event or something that leaving you out of the event. Um, or um, someone is in their head about a breakup or something that has to end. All right? Someone cannot get out of their head out of a ending or death something ended or maybe i don't know yet if if it's a real death let's find out all right but it's it's an ending here the, look you so you got three cups and three of pentacles so to me is some i feel like it's a third party involved and lately, your cards are saying it's other people involved in this situation. So there's something that's keeping you up at night that you can't stop thinking about, that you know that maybe this person is partying with other people or that, um, but it's something here that somebody wants, it's, it's an end in here, but somebody wants to still work something with you or wants you to be a part of this crazy shit triangle that's going on want you to accept things for what it is you wanting to end it's like you're really at the end of this and saying i need to end this it's not working for me it's not good for me it's not good for my health um i don't want to work with this person maybe um just maybe that they met this person at a job maybe they work with them um But I feel like somebody here, it, I feel like it's somebody here that either they work with somebody, they know this person from work, they met this person at work, um, they probably work with this person some type of business or something. Um, it's a celebration here that was, it's been going on for a minute, but it's keeping you up. It's like, what is it to celebrate? I'm not being a part of this celebration because you're not the one. See, when you're the one, you can just jump into any picture. But when you are a side chick or a side kick, you, you're not invited to everything. All right? I feel like somebody's having fun with somebody else. Um, you end in this situation with a person. And this person may be working with this person. That's all this shit is going down with. Um, the Three of Cups can also say that they're celebrating something, but what are they celebrating is the question. Are they celebrating an ending to a relationship? But even though it's an ending to this relationship, somebody still want to come and work with you. It's like, I feel like this person been having fun with somebody. And now it's time for them to end it with somebody and because they still want to work something out with you now is this the ending to a wedding to uh, somebody's marriage I see a mother a child and a preach a preacher is somebody walking away from their family to be with you Um, does somebody feel like they don't want to end this and they want to work something with you? But I definitely see three parties because it's three, three of cups and three of pinnacles. Do you feel like this person is giving to, to them more than they give to you? It's like here you're stressing over something. All right. But it's time for you to make a change. It's time for you to decide what you're going to do. How you're going to move. Which way you're going to go.
All right. I feel like somebody feel like they've been. It's like I don't know. It's like you are lost. It's like you don't even know what the fuck is going on. But you feel. But you know something ain't right. I apologize about my cards, but I'm going to have to start ordering some cards. And because these babies here, look at them. They are like so, oh, Lord. Okay, let's find out what is up with this cup. But somebody is like so, like you can't forgive somebody for what they did to you. You can't forgive somebody what they did to you. Like, you all in your head about making a change. Like, you, something you know that you need to change about a situation. The three of, of pinnacles, um, like, somebody here, they want to work this out with you. They want to work it out. But I don't know if you still want to work it with them. Did somebody get caught up in some mess? All right. Did somebody get busted? Um, somebody wants you to cooperate. This is some type of community. It's like learning and teaching and learning something. Sharing your, sharing your ideas, listening, teamwork. There's nothing there that you can't do by manifesting it together. Something difficult working with um, with others. You having a difficult time working with others, or you having a difficult time working with families. Um, the need to listen. Somebody needs to stop being selfish, pushing your own gender, not trusting your own partner's abilities. Like you don't believe in somebody, you don't think they capable of being real with you. Um, crushing somebody's ego. Um, something here that you are accomplishing. It, I don't know if you're looking for a new life, a new opportunity, manifesting something. Take Something is taking shape. It's, it's something that here, and I don't know if it's whatever it is. Um, it's like three people can work together. Or maybe you've been working with, maybe you're in partners with two other people. And something is not working out. It's time for you to end this. Um, uh, I don't know if it's a, um, you working with other people is not working. Or people working with you is, is not like a teamwork. It's like people want to take advantage. People, it's hard for you to work with people. It's hard that people don't listen to you. It's like you want to end this once and for all. Mm. But you get the sun card, the yes card, the I got this. Throwing it, freeing yourself from all of these people that are around you. Or freeing yourself from somebody that you might feel like that is not true, that's fake. All right? The Knight of Swords running. Somebody is. Um, moving fast, coming in and out, leaving a situation, leaving a marriage. Um, you feel stabbed. You you feeling the pain of somebody moving away from you. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is looking at everything logical, like it's like you putting your heart on the side. You're trying to make sense of. Everything that's going on between these people or this situation with a person that you work with or something that you believe that somebody's involved with someone else at work and maybe you're married to them. Maybe you live with them. You got kids by them, but it's somebody here being sneaky. Um, you feel like maybe somebody else is shining they, they, um son on someone else and not you. Right, but it's something here to celebrate. 
but you feel like something here is still doesn't feel right. You feel like this person is just as like whatever is over, this person is coming back, running back to you. It's it's like you can insult with somebody, but then they come back. All right? But then they want to work with you. They want you to do stuff with them. But it says swim away from the situation. It's like you trying to find all the details or you trying to know something there that is making sense to you. Like everything makes sense to you. You just um waiting to find out the truth or wait for the, the truth will reveal itself to you. All right. You've been through a lot. Okay, you don't believe in what they tell you. You know that they're lying. All right? It says swim from a situation. All right? I don't know if you was married to this person. I don't know if this person's married. I don't know if you got kids by them. But whoever you're dealing with, I feel like this person plays a lot of games. And they like to be at events or hang out or... But, you know what I mean? It's like something here doesn't make any sense to you. Like, you know something just doesn't feel right. All right? But you, 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 you just know that everything will be revealed to you. The hermit mode, you on by yourself. You meditating. You going within. The nine of cups. You're like, you got the nine of swords, now you got the nine of cups. You, It's like you really going within, taking time for yourself. Searching for this, whatever information you're looking for. But it's within you. The answer comes within you. It lies within you. Okay? The nine of cups, it's like right here you're meditating. It shows you're doing a lot of meditation, maybe by the water. Maybe you're meditating. A lot. Look, two cards just the light. The hermit and then the nine of cups. Somebody is really, really into this meditation. All right? Somebody's doing a lot of meditation by water, salt water. Um, going by the ocean. But what is going on with this cancer uh, trying to get at you? And the thing about it is, oh, uh, I see these cups, but they sit on a sand. They not sit on a strong foundation. All right? Like, it's the yes card, but you're like, I don't know about that. You know, it's like, you're really not trying to really give in to anything. You're not, you're not like you used to be. You're not, you know. Whatever it is that you're meditating to, it's your open up your heart and it's gateway um, for your gifts that are coming your way. But I feel like you being very protected. Like you're not just jumping to anything. Like something good is going to come to you because it's the sun, the yes. But you're in a hermit mode. You're really not talking to too many people or being seen. But whatever it is, it's going to make you happy. It's a peace of mind. You by you um being quiet, it's like you got a lot of peace of mind. All right? You you're making a sound decision. You're doing a lot of gratification, right? The universe is giving you your desire. Choose of joy, manifesting dreams come true, gratitude, abundance. When this card shows up. It's because it's abundance and happiness, and it's offered to you. It's, it's often called the wish card, all right? The number nine, the wish card. But two, you got the sun card, also the for sure yes card. But it's like you really stand to yourself right now. You, you're really not letting people in or letting people know what you're about to do. Or what you're about to manifest. Some some of y'all might be writing um, um, manifestation letters to the universe. Or burning candles. Or doing rituals. Alright. Or listening to soft music. Meditation music. Okay. Something is like you're cutting yourself off from a lot of people. 
and places and really going within, searching for what you want, making a decision on what you really want to do. You know that you can do this. You know that it's all the yes. All right. But it's something here that it scares you. All right. It keeps you up at night. Maybe you feel like you something here that you got to end. End all this mess. Look at this. It just came out twice today. Well, maybe in somebody's reading. The Empress. Somebody's giving birth to a whole new um, idea that's going to make you money. All right? You got loyalty around you. Somebody's loyal here to you. All right? This is Venus, honey. But it's, it's you got some loyalty here, honey. Lots of loyalty, and you're about to give birth to something new, exciting. It's going to bring you happiness. How about, that's the number three, too. So you got a lot of threes right here in front of you, all right? Um, creativity, something very creative, all right? A birth of creativity, um... Something here that you want to manifest, that you're going to do it. You keep talking about it, but you're going to do it. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of jasmine roots from Louisiana. I don't know about that jasmine plant or something, or root. Um, this is in Tartarus and Arius. This, um... The Empress, um, no judgment, ascending of a, uh, your essence of life, creating wealth, abundance, the, the cycle of life, manifesting, harboring, nurturing, beauty, new life. How do you give and you receive? Okay. Um. How do you do when you, what, what you do for others? Are you, it's like, have you been trying to have a baby? Or have you been, you, you're on this energy that's a positive outcome. It's like um, unconditional love. You're entering a time in, of a profound healing and blessings. And if you feel in any lack of inspiration or possibilities, Seek to hit, heal your um, physical temple and to um, nurture your soul by embodying your um, shining creativity and essence about you. Continue to move calmly and gracefully in, in the direction of what you want, okay? This car is often... Um, an affair that you are on the right track is often telling you that you're on the right track. So keep growing beautifully. Okay? Working with nature, your situation, instead of against it. So you need to go with it. Instead, this remind me also of the will of fortune. Is something it is going to work out for you? Is something it is supposed to be yours? It's something here that you manifest in. It's something here that you're about to give birth to. It's something here that's going to make you happy. All right? It's like you, you got, you got, it's like you are giving birth to something. You got the nine of cups. But you have to overcome a lot of stuff. And sometimes we got to leave people behind that don't want the best for us. All right? Um, so you got the queen of swords and the queen of wands. I don't know if what, what you're doing in your life or whatever's going on, but things are looking like, um, things are, are trying to, it's like they're working for you and everything is going to be beautifully. You, you're looking like a celebrity right about now. By the time all of this finish with you, you're going to be looking good, but you got to understand Pisces. You got to let go of what's not serving you. You got to let go of what's not good for you. You got to let it go. All right, it's, it's standing in your way, and then it makes you stand in your own way. Let it go. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.